In the previous lesson, we explored the Final Cut Pro 10 user interface. In this video, we'll look at how to import media and preview it in the viewer in preparation for editing. You'll notice a four-starred icon in the upper left of the interface. This is a library. Libraries store events, which contain media and projects. Before importing your media, it's a good idea to rename your library. Click on the name and enter Flight. All libraries contain at least one event. An event is like a folder for organizing your media. You can create more than one event, but for this simple project, you'll only need this one. Before we go any further, make sure to download the media referred to in the previous lesson if you plan on following along. We're going to do a simple drag and drop operation to import the media. Start by selecting the event. Now, drag the Final Cut Pro 10 media folder into the empty browser. Doing this will copy all the media into your library. Because the media is copied into the library, you no longer need the folder of media and you can trash it if you wish. The media you imported appears as separate images called film strips in the browser. You can now take your mouse pointer and skim over the film strip to view the contents of the clip in the viewer. The skimmer is the vertical red line under your pointer. Skimming is a fast way to view all the video in your browser. To play any clip from the skimmer position, press the spacebar. Press the spacebar again to stop playback. If you click the film strip button in the upper right of the browser, you can drag on the duration slider to show a larger portion of the clip. More film strip images appear the further you drag to the right. To show less images, drag to the left. To view the audio waveform, click this button. To see more information about each clip, click this button to switch the browser to list view. This view has the additional benefit of displaying each clip's metadata in columns that include duration, starting time code, and so on. When a clip is selected, a film strip appears at the top of the browser. You can skim over the film strip to preview the content in the viewer and press the spacebar for playback. While playing back, pressing the down arrow loads the next clip into the list and continues to playback. In the next video, we'll begin the process of creating our movie.